Um, this is Marcus um, Kofi Quarantang, correct? Yes, okay. or just Marcus is fine. Just Marcus is fine, okay. He is a graduate of Westminster College and he has uh, recently won uh, a merit award at the Hoyt Regional Art Competition in Newcastle. And he was also uh, juried into the, let's see, Butler Area Artist Show in uh, fall of last year. And both of those shows, I think Jeannie can attest to, are attract quite good artists. Um, and yeah. to get a merit award at the Hoyt is, is really something special. So sure we're is. Really, yeah. So we're glad to have you today, and I think your art is great. Um, I was drawn to Marcus when I met him at the Butler Area Artist Show because of his enthusiasm. Um, his whole family was there and friends to see the painting, and it was very exciting. Um, I remember that. I think I met him that day. Yeah. So, out, yeah. In Howland. out in Howland, yeah. Yeah. Hi, Michelle. Hi, how are you? Good. Um, we're just getting started. We're talking with Marcus here. So um, just so happy about your accomplishments. I wanted to go ahead and share some of your artwork. Um, I already posted in the chat box an article um, that was written by one of Marcus's friends about his work. So we're going to go ahead and share some paintings. Let's see. And maybe he can tell us a little bit about some of these. Okay. Um, Marcus, can you tell us a little bit about the background of this one? Yeah, so that one is titled Shihiro Ogino. It's a character from the Hayao Miyazaki film Spirited Away, which is one mm -hmm. of my favorite movies. Um, if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. Like all of the Studio Ghibli films are like really wonderful and whimsical films. And this film was my favorite because I'm originally from Los Angeles. And this movie came out around the same time when we were preparing to move to Ohio. And it was about her like be moving to a new surrounding and like getting used to it and adjusting to her new environment. So it always like held a special place for me since it kind of related to what I was going through when I was moving to Ohio. Uh -huh. And I finally got around to like painting her and that's one of my favorite pieces that I've made sort of more like cartoony uh -huh. art style rather than more realistic. I love it. I think this is the one from the Hoyt is this, is this the one from the Hoyt? Yeah, that okay. one is titled You. Um, and it started out as a self-portrait of myself. Like, because all of my paintings, they start out at, like portraits of people. And then, like, I either get annoyed with, like, focusing and stressing out too much about the face or, like, I don't want to really see other people. Or like see myself or like other people in my work that's why most of my paintings don't have faces because I feel like when you paint a face it's like very definitive of that person and then you that's not whereas without face you can see whoever you want in it where it could be you your brother your neighbor down the street yeah and then this one was also inspired by the works of Kahinde Wiley the portrait artist that did the Obama portrait how he paints like sort of black and brown and urban figures in like very floral settings, which is why mm -hmm. I painted myself in like the hoodie with like all the like the desert flowers and succulents around the bottom. Oh, very cool. And then this one is titled Astro Pigeon. This is another one of my um, favorite pieces that I've done. It's done with all colored pencil. Like I really, like I even know a lot of my art that has been featured in the museums and that's more celebrated out of my paintings, I actually like sketching and coloring mm -hmm. a lot. I feel like with pencils, you have more control and like can just continuously build on it. Like this one took about maybe eight hours to do. And it's just like going over and over each color, like blending. Um, with the Prismacolor pencils, which if any of you are into like sketching or coloring, I highly recommend the Prismacolor. It really Very brings cool. out the vibrancy. And this one is titled Peachy. 
for my grandmother. Um, this is actually the first like actual painting that I did about let's say three years ago, um, 2017. Um, and before this, I never really painted before. I had just came back from a trip to Huntsville, Alabama, where they have um, a lovely art gallery there called the Low Mill Art Gallery and wanted to try to paint something. So I just sat down and spent about a month working on this. This is what came out. And it was like very nice and like kind of like letting me know that wow, I can do this since I've never really taken art classes before. It's all kind of self-teaching. So this is my first one and I think I will reveal it like later on now that I know about blending more and like know what to do more, I probably will go back and like go over it and oh you know, like, I don't know. Sometimes you don't want to touch them. Yeah. <laughs> My mom keeps telling me not to touch that one because that one is her favorite. But I don't, I don't know what else I don't know what else she would do to it other than maybe add a little bit of more color like orange or something. I love to do um I have a friend that's African American, and she kept saying, "More color, more color, more color, more orange." You know? But I don't know what else she would do to it. I think it's great. Yeah, I think it's beautiful. <laughs> this one is titled Jaden. Um, before I worked for AT and T, I was a classroom behavior therapist for a few years. So I worked primarily in schools, and one of my students that I had. Like, didn't have the best grades, but he was an amazing artist, like an amazing musician and sketch artist. And so I painted this because it reminded me of him, like how much talent the youth has. And this is one, this is one of my favorite ones I've done because it was just like really fun to do. And like, I didn't really think about it. And that one is in the brass studio at Westminster College. One of the person who I painted it for, he donated it to my college's brass studio. So that's nice. Oh, that's great. And this is Kofi. This is the one that was in the Butler last fall. Um, I painted it last summer around the time when the community activist and rapper Nipsey Hussle had died. Um, I'm originally from Inglewood, California, which is the same neighborhood and area where he was and was like really building up the area. So I wanted to paint this in like the Rosie the Riveter pose because the Rosie the Riveter was like a big signal for like the female empowerment movement and like the Yes We Can for women movement in like the 50s and onward. And so I wanted to paint this for Black American men who are often not really seen in the most positive light in media and kind of change the narrative like, yes, we are better. We can be artists. We can be so much more than what is stereotyped of us. And the name Kofi is like a day name given to boys in Ghana, which is where my father's family and where my last name comes from. Mm -hmm. um, so for boys born on Friday, they're given the name Kofi, which is my day name in Ghana. And like all the tattoos are like, have different meanings of like different groups of like different ethnic groups within the back community like there's the kente cloth feeling which is like primarily found throughout ghana as well as like different of uh, the like afro-caribbean prints like along the sleeves and la on his neck because that's you know, where i'm from and each of my paintings like the background color that's sort of deep blue like almost like a deep cerulean color i notice like the more i paint like everything that i paint has either teal or deep cerulean blue which is my favorite color and every time i try to do something different like those colors always pop up in there i guess because that is my favorite color and it sparks joy for me i wanted to talk today about um adding passion into your painting i'm going to stop sharing for a minute um and and how important that is to really get at a good painting um let's see oh, where did i share all that no oh, it's here let's see Do you feel that's, you know, having passion for something or movement or people have been important to you? 
um, yeah, Marcus? Yeah, no, definitely. I think that having like a passion for anything like gives what you're doing purpose. Um, like everything that I painted so far, like, because I don't paint often because I go through stuff where I have like creative peak where I'm really inspired by something, really moved by something that I want to capture it on a canvas or paper. And like once you really care about something, it really shows in your work. Like all of the three pieces behind me, like were painted at three separate times, but it was during a time when I felt inspired and like really moved to express myself like on a canvas when my words weren't enough, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think when you, like the most important pieces, art pieces, like they all have a sense of passion behind them because if you're not really passionate about what you're doing, then like why do it? Do you, do you feel your art helps people to see things from a different point of view? Um, and I, I think that's true of all art. Any art you look at, you're looking through the eyes of the artist rather than yourself. Um, do you feel that that's an important feature of your work? Um, I would hope so. Um, normally, whenever I paint something, like I always like paint for me, and then like I'm always like surprised, and then maybe like the self-defeatist like artist mindset where like I am very hypercritical of all my work and like stress over making something like perfect and hope it impacts people but I've noticed like with the comments and like the fact that I got them from my pieces that it does and it does like kind of push a narrative and like add a little bit of inspiration which is nice but always just a surprise for me because while painting it I don't really think about like other people while painting I mostly just paint for me mm -hmm. And I hope for the best. <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna go back to let's see. Oh, what did I want to go to? I'm gonna stop sharing. Okay. Um, you have used uh, you, you took your um, painting Kofi that was in the Butler show and you have turned that into a magnet along with a couple other of your paintings in order to raise funds for a couple things you believe in. Can you talk about the causes? I tried to find those again and I couldn't find the post that, that you listed the specific causes in. Yeah, so after recent events with all of the protests going on, like I wanted to find like a way to contribute, but also like spread a little light and joy in a world. I think art does that. So the East Kofi I turned into like refrigerator magnet prints because I feel it's the most convenient and everyone has a refrigerator. Um, and to raise money for the Black Lives Matter movement, the general one which supports like the various bail funds and things like that to push for criminal justice reform. The other ones that I had donated to were the Know Your Rights Camp that was funded by Colin Kaepernick and he hosts like a bunch of summer camps to teach like children in like inner city and like places that they normally wouldn't do those. Um, like that kind of education to like further educate kids because I, I said I like used to work in schools so education is like really important to me. Another, th the last organization that I donated to was the Black Visions Collective, which is sort of like empowering, uplifting like the voices of black creatives. So like really giving like various black artists, poets, photographers, like a platform and like that. And I, as a black artist myself, I think it's important that like our, our work gets shown. Cause like a lot of the like Instagram pages like featuring black artists, like the pieces are beautiful and they all have like different meanings behind them and exemplary of our culture and things like that. So I really wanted to choose that one as well. Um, and so far I was able to raise over $300, which is really nice. Um, so it's nice to know that I was able to like make those impactful donations and also have like a piece of my work like in various people's homes. Cause I also believe that when you paint something and you put it out into the world, it's like a piece of yourself. Because like you said, like your art is from through the artist's eyes. And I believe that every artist like puts a little bit of piece of themselves in their work that'll be here long after we're gone. So it's nice to know that little pieces of me are spread out. 
Um, I, what I'm sharing here is the Westminster College Small Business Saturday shared a little bit about um, Marcus's work and um, where you can um, get the paintings through his Etsy site. And I'll, I'll share that in the chat box when we're done. Um, if you're interested in ordering one of the magnets because they are cool and they are signed. Um, you know, I, I was writing, when I did my website, um, it asked me to write like an artist statement. And I'm like, well, I don't, I don't know what to write. But, but what I thought about is one of the great things about art is that it brings people together. It brings people together who might not have met otherwise. It brings people together of different points of view. Um, do you think that is, is helpful? And do you see that also? And is it um, what your art is doing? Yeah, I really, I really do think that like, like you said, art brings people together and you find inspiration um, from other artists. Like if I never went to the Butler Museum, I wouldn't have met you and all of the other cool <laughs> artists. And like you can also draw inspiration from those artists. Like there's an artist on Instagram, Donald Robertson, who is famous for his like commercial prints. And like I learned from him and like following his art that to not stress out about it. Cause like my biggest thing while painting something is I stress out over the like little details and getting so perfect. So I've lately, I've just started, you know, just painting, just not thinking about it. And then still coming out with like great pieces and like great work and things like that. So I really think that as artists, we can learn from each other and like share in our message and like gain inspiration from the works of others. Um, one last thing, do you have any words of advice for my artists um, here today about, um, you know, painting with a, a passion and how to dig deep into your personal experience to put that on canvas? Um, my advice, in addition to not stressing out about your work is to know that like, it's you, that your art, like you can paint from, like if you're trying to copy someone else's work, it doesn't have to be exactly like theirs because it's your work. It's what you're doing and you're free to express yourself however you want on canvas. And at the end of, end of the day, even though like I'm still learning this, <laughs> is that it doesn't have to be perfect, but it's perfect to you because you've made it. And to paint, like not paint for other people, like I understand like people do commissions and things like that, but like still don't lose yourself in the process of painting because your work is your own. If exactly. Well, Marcus, I know you have to get to work here shortly. So um, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to share with the group your um, Etsy site. So if they, you're still taking orders, I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay. If anybody's interested in that, um, congratulations, by the way, on the Hoyt Show. I didn't know about that until I started doing a little bit of research. Um, great job. Thank you. Yeah, the, the pandemic kind of like threw a wrench in things because the museum was closed and the exhibit, once they opened back up, was only up for a week. And they were like, all right, come and get <laughs> Oh, dear. Um, do you have any artistic plans for the rest of the year? Um, outside of just like some random things that I'm working on. I kind of want to take like the rest of this year to really build up my portfolio because my goal for next year is to have like a solo show somewhere. Ooh. I want to build up enough of a portfolio and things that I can fill a small space. So that's my goal for this year is to just push out more pieces, find more inspiration. That way I can have a solo show next year. Great. Well, thank you so much for being with us. I appreciate it. Um, I'm sure the group appreciates it as well. Um, keep me posted on what you're doing. Um, we'd love to hear, I'd love to hear about um, your continued efforts and all of that. So thank you. Um, thank you so much, Marcus. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Bye.